Hey everybody, it's Ryan here. Wanted to go over some anatomy. I'm doing a workshop for the training staff and I'm doing a deadlift seminar for the training staff. And I have an article that I wrote, uh, some words that I wanted to share for those that can't attend and some because I know that all trainers can't attend. And uh, I want to record it, so maybe I'll post it and I'll link it when I make it. But I wanted to show you a little bit about the glutes and talk about the, the anatomy a little bit. And uh, we're all visual learners. A lot of us are visual learners. I'm definitely a visual learner. And for a lot of people there, uh, especially women trying to develop their glutes, one thing you want to look at when it comes to the exercises, you know, is is the way the fibers run. So you look, look at these. This is the glute maximus, right? And you can see how it inserts right here on the upper part of the, the pelvis. So if I peel some of these layers off just so that we can get a reference point. So this is the, oops, some of these ligaments. So this is the, the pelvic bone, right, the back side of the pelvis. And you kind of see how this is kind of shaped. This is the outer ridge and the front of the pelvis here, and this is the front. Now, looking on this side here, the fibers run along and they attach along this border. Actually, let me delete that there. Okay. So when these muscles contract or shorten, you can imagine that these little cables, imagine the muscles as cables or maybe rubber bands, that uh, will start to contract and pull. So if you can imagine how this kind of lines up, I'm, you can see my mouse pointer here. When it shortens, what's going to happen to this leg? It's going to rotate. It's going to rotate around. It's also going to bring the this this leg bone out this way, away from the body, abduction. Also, uh, talking about the the shelf of the glutes over here, this top part here. This is the gluteus medius. This is the muscle you feel when you do that abductor machine. That's very popular, although it's not necessarily the best exercise for developing that region. It's definitely something that definitely targets it if you. Uh, feel like you're lacking in that area for those trying to build aesthetic for aesthetic pur purposes. So what I wanted to say here is that if I peel this uh, glute maximus away or at least fade it you can kind of see how the glute medius penates or how the fibers run. They don't run as much they run to this part of this here is the femur bone the upper thigh bone and you kind of see how the muscle fibers run along like this right they attach right here to this femur underneath the glute max. Let's go show this again. So you can kind of see how the fibers run. And when this muscle pulls or contracts, let me fade this again. When this contracts, it's going to pull, it's going to want to pull this femur bone away from the midline, or in case move this direction towards this left hand or in, in this picture. And what will happen if you can kind of imagine, you've got to sort of use your uh, imagination. I think there's an application here in this program that I'm using that allows for, let's go see, what am I looking for? Uh, definitions hip extension medial rotation at abduction so if I do this and you kind of see how the muscle that is, oh, this is perfect so you kind of see how the the leg moves away from the body and you can see how these muscles shorten right they're pulling in this way and the fibers are contracting you can see this one the big mover which is the glute max and you have the gluteus medius right there There's right here you can see the minimus which is also part of it but it's a very small part of the glutes uh, overall development it's really the glute max and this is essentially what you need to work on if you're trying to develop your glutes and the only way you're going to be able to develop this muscle is with load uh, that means lifting more weight uh, and there's of course you can do reps too reps are really important but the only way that a muscle will want to adapt and, and get thicker and more quote unquote tone is simply by mechanical load and that means moving more weight and um, that's kind of why I always say that's why squats and deadlifts are always going to be the best place for them as long as you have a good coach to uh, essentially teach you and you have a good background and knowing what you should and shouldn't do with the, the movements you can load these movements very heavily and it will allow for uh, progress and you get hypertrophy and that's muscle size and you kind of see how that moves because uh, you can do the movement with body weight and that's still effective I mean it all depends on what level you're at right the thing to consider is that remember mechanical load is going to be the biggest attributing factor to muscle growth although don't get me wrong high repetition work is still going to be important but not nearly as important as the actual mechanical load uh, that's a little bit over generalized there's a lot more there's a little bit more to it but that's just what I'll leave you with and I hope you learned some good stuff in this video thanks for watching and uh, check out the article that's linked to this video and I'll, I'll talk to you guys later